Hello everybody, it's your friendly digital technology librarian Christy here. Um, we have reached another Friday, so of course I have another Film Rec Friday ready for everybody out there. Uh, you know, I think I'm probably one of the most contrary people out there. We have just really entered into summer and I am already a little bit sick of the ludicrous humidity and high temperatures. I mean, we really are just entering into summer and I was just complaining about the cold a couple of weeks ago. Anyway, one of my favorite things to do when I am tired and hot and just longing for colder temps is to sit in a cool dark room and watch movies. So I thought what better way to escape the heat than to celebrate Christmas in July this week. Uh, so I've put together a list of a handful of movies and documentaries that hopefully will help transport you to a winter wonderland of some sort if you are also desperately longing for not 90 degree temperatures. Um, as always, all of these recommendations are available entirely for free with the use of your Milan Roman Library card. You can find them on one of our three video services, which are Clevenets Overdrive, Hoopla Digital, and Canopy. And if you can't find something within this little set of recommendations, I still strongly recommend you check out those video services. There are thousands upon thousands of options on there. You 100% will find something that you like. Uh, so. In any case, without any further ado, I am going to jump right in to those cool, cool wrecks. So I only have one recommendation from Clevenets Overdrive for you this week, but it is for a great little film. Uh, it's a documentary called Road Trip for Ralphie, which is the ultimate perfect movie for any fan of the classic Christmas tale, A Christmas Story. Now, for people who might not know, Christmas Story was actually filmed right here in Ohio. You can visit the house, you can visit most of the different locations, and that is precisely what the couple behind Road Trip for Ralphie did. Um, Road Trip for Ralphie takes these two mega fans and follows their journey from different location to different location. They go visit the uh, family home where everything was shot. They go visit the school location where you get the infamous tongue stuck on the pole scene. They interview different people. They get behind the scenes kinds of stories about shooting of the film. And it's really just sort of a wonderful, nostalgic step back in time. Um, I know I watch A Christmas Story every single holiday season. It's just kind of a tradition. I know a lot of the lines. I could probably recite probably 75 to 90 percent of the movie right now. Um, I've seen it that many times. And there are so many people who also do the exact same thing year after year. So watching this documentary is like going on this little road trip with this couple. And it's very fun. It's friendly. It's a really quick watch. It's not academic in any way. It's definitely a pop culture fan video styled um, film. And I think the relatability makes this one of those documentaries that you don't have to be in the mood for a documentary to enjoy. It kind of views like a standard movie rather than um, a, a more serious uh, style documentary. In any case, if you are a fan of A Christmas Story, you absolutely need to see this. If you like sort of little films that sort of delve into um, the nitty gritty and like the little details and the anecdotes about filming. This is also really great. It's, it's a lot, it's a lot of fun. So if you're looking for a fun, quick watch, Road Trip for Ralphie on uh, Clevenets Overdrive is absolutely one you should check out. Moving right along to our Hoopla digital recommendations. The first of those is for a lovely little movie called Christmas Cupcakes. Now Christmas Cupcakes is done in sort of the Hallmark Hall of Fame film style. Uh, rather than a Hallmark romance, this is definitely much more family focused. So it's great if you just want a casual, uh, family friendly film to watch. It focuses in on these two rival sisters. They enter this baking contest in order to try and save their family's bakery, which is going through some seriously hard times. And along the way, they meet a ton of other contestants. Uh, some of which uh, are not particularly nice. They're sort of foofy bakers that look down on these two 
you know, neighborhood uh, cupcake makers. And, you know, there's lots of room for laughs. There's a lot of, you know, friendly sibling uh, ribbing. There's some more heavy family drama going on as well. And of course, it is a Hallmark film after all. There is a little bit of romance going on. But that's definitely, I would say, not the uh, crux of the movie. It really is the relationship between these two sisters. So if you like sort of soft fluffy movies because it is a Hallmark style so you know you're going to get a happily ever after. Um, if you like movies that definitely explore family bonds, if you like friendly competition films, if you like foodie films, oh the cupcakes, the baked goods in general look so good in this. Um, also if you like movies that focus on sisters, I would say like if you're an adult who enjoyed the sibling relationship and even Frozen, this kind of movie is definitely going to be for you. So again, Christmas Cupcakes, light, fluffy fun uh, on Hoopla Digital. Definitely check this one out. My other recommendation on Hoopla Digital is yet another title that's perfect for foodies, and that is The Great British Baking Show Christmas Masterclass Special. Now, if you're a fan of The Great British Baking Show, or I think PBS oftentimes calls it The Great British Bake Off, uh, you absolutely have to watch the Masterclass series. Uh, these, these episodes sort of focus in on Mary Berry and Paul, and they just sort of teach you and me as audience members how to make some of the really fancy stuff that's on there. Uh, and it's really educational, but it's tons of fun. You get their like snappy little banter back and forth. Plus it's just like eye candy for anybody who likes baked goods. It's, it's just an amazing, amazing series of shows. And this one, the Christmas masterclass is all about like those big Christmas uh, ha holiday family special dishes that they serve during um, Christmas time. You know, you got Yule log, you have like hot cross buns and everything is really well explained. It's easy to follow. I've actually tried some of the recipes that I found on the Masterclass episodes and they do turn out really well. So if you're interested in cooking at all, if you want to try more baking, if you're not a baker normally, if you've never baked at all and are just looking for a way to sort of dive right in, check out the Christmas Masterclass or any of the Masterclass episodes for that matter. Um, these recipes are all really, really delicious. Um, you get like a nice broad range of some slightly more simple dishes to make and then some ludicrously fancy holiday dishes to make. Um, and who doesn't like a good holiday baked good, whether it's dessert or otherwise, uh, these are really fun, quick episodes. Like I said, the snappy dialogue and banter is there throughout. They're easy to follow. They're great for beginners or for more advanced bakers, and they definitely will make you hungry. So don't watch without having something ready to eat at the same time. Uh, in any case, please, please check out the Great British Baking Show Christmas Masterclass. Uh, you won't regret it. It's a deliciously good um, series of episodes. Okay, as usual, we are going to close things out with our canopy recommendations. And the first of those is for this fascinating musical documentary called Dreaming of a Jewish Christmas. Now, I put musical documentary in quotes because honestly, when I first read the description, I didn't quite understand what that meant. Yes, this documentary is all about music, but it also has this sort of odd narrative meta level going on where a large part of the storyline takes place in a Chinese restaurant where music is being sung and performed. It's odd and unusual, but thoroughly engaging. Uh, it's also chock full of information that I was not at all familiar with. So let's back up. Dreaming of a Jewish Christmas is all about the Jewish singing singer songwriters who wrote and performed a huge swath of what we think of as our traditional um, Christmas music lexicon. Songs like The Christmas Song, um, White Christmas, other songs, uh, anything that you can think of from the movie musical White Christmas. Those were all written and in large parts performed by um, Jewish artists. And 
What I found really fascinating about this documentary is that it's not just about Christmas music, but it's also like a, a really interesting dive into Jewish culture as well. And it, it just was really, really fascinating to watch. I had no idea who a lot of the songwriters were for several of the Christmas songs that are talked about in here. I didn't really think about it in the first place. Um, they're just songs that I'd been singing and listening to and performing you know, my entire life. And it was nice just to have pieces of the history of those to, 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 to latch on to, 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 to know. Um, and it was also just really interesting to sort of delve into the history of Jewish immigration in the U S as well, which this movie does a great job of at no point does it get dry or boring either, which I really, really appreciate. Sometimes, uh, documentaries about history can definitely get to the point where it's just fact after fact being thrown at you. And it never feels like that. It always feels like you're essentially being told a story. And I do think that having that odd meta level of musical performance in there definitely helps keep it light, lively, and entertaining. So if you're looking for something that is a little bit off the beaten path as far as documentaries go. If you love music in general, if you especially love Christmas music, if you like history, check out Dreaming of a Jewish Christmas. It is a really interesting, very, very entertaining documentary, and you will absolutely learn things that you probably didn't know before. Uh, so this one goes way, way high on my recommendation list. Again, Dreaming of a Jewish Christmas, available on Canopy. My next recommendation is yet another documentary on Canopy, but this one is more for people who don't enjoy traditional style Christmas songs and carols. This one is called Jingle Bell Rocks, and it's sort of this weird roller coaster ride into the alternative and underground Christmas music world. Um, you get a lot of sort of zany personalities, you know, like the guys who work in the used LP store uh, and record company places. Like, they definitely hoard all of this knowledge just in general about music. And these are the people that you get to meet during this entire documentary. You learn about Christmas and holiday music from groups like The Flaming Lips, Run DMC, uh, Miles Davis, Clarence Carter, John Waters. I mean, it's an unusual group of musicians to hear sort of placed together with Christmas music. And I, and I really, really appreciated that a lot of the covers that they'd done, I'd never heard before. Um, and I always love discovering new music. And if you are similar, I think you'll really enjoy this as well. It also, as I mentioned, was a really interesting introduction to the more esoteric music collectors. Uh, and this documentary is as much about the people who love putting together these sort of alternative playlists and mixes as it is about that alternative music itself. So if you're interested in like odd and unusual characters, if you love music, no matter what genre, if you feel that you're a holiday music connoisseur and you just are interested in learning about something new about it, um, or if you happen to be one of these people who just really hates your traditional holiday music, check out Jingle Bell Rocks. It is absolutely worth it and definitely a dive into uh, an alternative world of music. Okay. And my very last recommendation also from Canopy is for this weird, wonderful, trippy, dark comedy horror movie, uh, called Rare Exports. It is a foreign film, uh, that takes place in Northern Finland. Uh, so you do have a lot of the audio that's going to be in a foreign language. Uh, please still watch it even if you're not a fan of subtitles. It is extremely good uh, and really, really weird. It's in the grand tradition of Christmas horror films. It is one of those movies that is hard to categorize because it does have horror elements in it. It does have humor elements in it. It does have your traditional Christmas stuff going on. 
it is a mishmash of awesome. And I had such a good time watching this. I can't even explain. Uh, so in rare exports, you're, as I mentioned, in northern Finland for the vast majority of the film, there's a geological dig going on, but these explorers end up uncovering something they did not expect, uh, not geological finds, but instead they uncover essentially the origins of the Santa Claus myth. And it is not about a jolly old man living in the North Pole. Man, he is absolutely not jolly, at least not at least not in a happy way. Um, how you can be jolly in an unhappy way, I don't know. But he definitely is not your traditional Saint Nick. Now, a lot of circumstances happen and this boy and his father end up capturing this rather demented Santa Claus and trying to sell him back to the, uh, the uh, large corporation that found him. And even more ridiculousness ensues. A lot of scares, a lot, a lot of laughs, some of which are like really sort of that like uncomfortable kind of laugh uh, happen. And it's just a lot of weird, zany fun. Like, it's definitely not for kids. Uh, there is some death and destruction going on, and it does have some dark themes that are touched on. And it will definitely make you look at the Santa Claus myth in a totally different way, but in the most fun manner you can imagine. Like I said, very dark comedy, but it will still make you laugh out loud, especially if you're a fan of horror films. Um, I love sort of this mishmash genre, especially when you can throw in myth and legend. Like, I, th that's just like the sweet, my sweet spot when it comes to horror films. I love things like this. And definitely was popular with the critics. It won tons of awards. It was a huge hit at festivals. Um, and I can absolutely see why. It is very cleverly written. The writing for a lot of Christmas horror films is not necessarily all that solid, but this one, like your plot line is super strong. The comedy, dark as it is, is very, very um, intelligent. It's just an excellent, excellent movie. So if you like um, movies that combine lots of different genres, if you're a horror film fan, if you enjoy foreign film, it's even if you don't enjoy uh, foreign film, you absolutely should watch Rare Exports. It is so much fun. It will absolutely transport you to a winter wonderland that you may want to run out of screaming in a few moments, but still totally worth it. So again, my last recommendation for this week, Rare Exports available on Canopy. So as I mentioned, I'm all through with this week's Film Rec Friday. Uh, if you have any recommendations for movies that help cool you down during the sweltering heat, please, please, please comment and leave them below. We are all always looking for recommendations and we love finding new movies. If you are uh, in possession of a topic that you want us to explore sometime in the future, please recommend those as well. So with that, I'm going to close out everything for this week. Thank you as always for joining us and tune in next week for more Film Rec Friday fun. Thanks so much and I will see you later. Bye!